Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Have you been feeling off lately? Have you also been feeling off lately? Off. Irritated, maybe a little sad, maybe a little depressed, maybe just kind of apathetic, like meh. Just not quite yourself. Have you been feeling that way lately? Not just me, you're also feeling that way? Thought so. It's probably why you clicked on this video, because the title appealed to you because you have been feeling that way. So obviously, I've been feeling that way and that's why I wanted to talk about this stuff today with you. And there are a lot of insights that I kind of gathered today, just doing a little bit of writing and reflecting that I wanted to share with you in hopes that I can give you some insight as to uh, maybe why you're also feeling off and how we can you know, kind of get back to or even better than we were before. So yeah, sad, I don't know, frustrated? Are you angry? Are you irritated? Are you just a little down? Are you just a little bored with life? A little, you know, apathetic, like whatever? Or maybe you're crushing it right now. Probably not, right? Well, you, you probably are, but anyways. The first thing I wanted to bring up is when I took this course, I refer to it a lot because although it, it really was or is a little bit cultish, it really did change my life in a lot of ways. I took this emotional intelligence course up in Los Angeles I've mentioned before on my videos and during this program, it's a five-day course. There's uh, two five-day courses, a basic and advanced, and then there's like a leadership one that goes on for months. But anyways, on the first level of it, you're sitting in this big auditorium or a uh, hotel ballroom basically, and the facilitator, the speaker, the trainer of the training is up there and just starting to go into the material. And, and there's this little sign that is above her, his or her head, whoever's coaching it. And it says, what are you pretending not to know? And each day from day one to day five, the sign gets bigger and bigger and bigger to where by day five, it's this gigantic sign that you're like, how did I not see that above the speaker's head on day like one or two? And it says, what are you pretending to not to know? And so why does this come up? Why do I bring this up as it pertains to you feeling off to us feeling a little bit off lately? So what I have come to understand about myself or at least from my own process and, and maybe you'll resonate with this especially since uh, you know you resonated with the title of the video is that's really what it's about I'm feeling off personally because and maybe you are too is because there's something there that I'm not addressing that I'm pretending not to know that I'm suppressing that I am repressing that I'm avoiding that I'm ignoring there's an issue there's something internally that wants to come up but I feel off now why is that I feel off and you might be feeling off too because you're on a mission right now. You have a vision for your life. You're improving it. You're trying to work in different areas of your life. In order to do that, we get to change and grow and expand. In order to change and grow and expand, sometimes we have to address things from the past, traumas, relationships, things that come up over and over in order to continue to heal these things in different layers and different ways. And by healing and addressing these issues, these feelings of I feel off, whatever issue that is, that's how we can clear the space and allow ourselves to grow and expand into a new level of our lives, into a new person, quite literally. Because by addressing these issues that you're repressing, which is why you feel off, this is what growth is and you transforming into a different person. And you come out the other side wiser. You come out the other side more aware. You come out the other side healed. And a couple of signs of that are, you know, things that used to bother you about this particular issue or thing, they just don't anymore. You just don't even respond or react. Why? Because you've addressed it, you've healed it, so it no longer resonates with you. So when that old issue or situation comes up, it's just like you don't you might even not even notice it anymore because it's just so far out of who you are because literally you've healed it you've become a different person so what are you pretending not to know you're feeling off because there's an issue there's something that you're repressing there's something that needs to come up to the surface for you to address and heal but you're not you're repressing it and that's why you feel off what are you pretending not to know your soul wants to grow and expand but your ego is protecting you by keeping you small, i.e. avoiding this issue that wants to come up. So you need to, you feel off, you feel down because there's you're, you're trying to move forward, but for whatever reason, you, maybe you can't quite pinpoint it, something wants to come up and you feel off. 
This is your soul trying to show you what you need to address in order to overcome it, to heal, to come out on the other side, in order to have the breakthroughs and start manifesting and living on that next level of life that you are working so hard to create for yourself. Your soul wants to grow and expand, but your ego is protecting you by keeping you small, i.e. it's keeping you in familiar patterns. So what would this look like? Again, you know, often use the fitness example. This will come up as in like, you are really making progress in your workouts and your diet. But for whatever reason, maybe the past week or two, you've now that I'm bringing it to light, especially talking to you about it, you might be realizing, oh my God, I'm slipping back in my old habits. I'm only going to the gym two or three times instead of four or five times. You know, I'm eating out a couple more times a week thinking it's not going to matter because I've been doing so good on my diet. No, this is you falling back into your old patterns. This is your ego very sneakily low-key sabotaging you saying oh you're trying to change and become a better person Uh uh-uh we don't change to do that i'm going to keep you safe by having you slip into old patterns so that's one way that it can kind of manifest itself these issues want to come up but your ego is trying to keep you safe by keeping you small and in the familiar because if you address these issues and overcome that part of your ego, you become a different person and that goes against what the ego is about, which is literally survival, trying to hang on, right? Keep you in the old familiar patterns. You can't do this. This is, we've got to address it and be brutally honest with ourselves in order to overcome these issues because this is us healing and ascending, moving on to the next level of our lives. So you're feeling off because there's issues coming to the surface and your mood, your vibe, lately is being affected because you're ignoring what wants to come up. The off, the feeling off feeling is the suppression of the issues coming up. So I'll share my own, you know, be vulnerable with you and share my own personal example about this. So I've been feeling, uh, I've got a lot of great things happening, going in my life and happening, but I'm about to transition in a big way, which is fantastic. Um, I'm in the process of going through the paperwork to move into a new apartment and it's like I feel like it's going to even be even better than I initially think it's going to be I saw like eight or nine different places and even this is the first place I saw and I knew right away I was like this place feels right but I did my research so I'm about to uh, expand I'm about to grow I'm about to get this super dope apartment me and my little dog I'm going to move in there I'm going to find my new routine I'm starting to find my foothold in this new city which is a step on my journey to create this vision So I can feel that I've been feeling off these past couple days, especially yesterday at work, because I'm like, man, why am I, do I not feel? Because there's issues coming up within myself that I could feel off, but until today, until I gave myself the grace and time and space to explore that, to address what's coming up, I really wasn't aware. I I was aware of it, I could feel it, but I just couldn't pinpoint it. That's why self-reflection is important. Now I've had the insights on what exactly it is and how to proceed. And this is a huge one for me. So I've been feeling off, I'm about to go uh, expand and upgrade my life, but I've been feeling off. I am excited, but I've been feeling off. So I'm like, why am I feeling off? What's coming up for me is, um, just to give you a little context, so I was adopted at birth, and then my my foster mom died when I was five years old, six years old, six years old of cancer. And so I had a lot of, I have a lot of like abandonment, childhood abandonment, trauma issues, especially uh, with women, right? My mom dying and being adopted, all these other things. So I've noticed myself feeling off because I've been protecting myself from new connections, not just with women, with people in general, right? Like I'm in this new city, I I just haven't been, I'm authentic, but I'm just like remaining very kind of hidden, you know, not really showing my truths. I mean, I am, I'm very authentic, I, I always show up just as me, but I may not say that as much or be as outgoing or talkative or open as I normally am, and I've noticed about myself. I'm like, what's going on? You know, I, I'm not like, you know, men and women, it doesn't matter. And I'm just talking about people in general, not not just like romantic connections or anything. I'm just sitting here. I just find myself very guarded. And I'm like, what's going on? And I'm like, ah, I'm like, my childhood abandonment stuff is coming up. These issues with my mom, with people about trusting, about feeling safe and trusting and opening up in new environments. This is why I feel off because I'm keeping myself closed off. Yet my soul wants to expand and grow. I'm about to get a new apartment. I'm, you know, meet a bunch of new cool people here, new connections, networking. But I can feel that that unhealed part of me is coming back up and preventing me from growing and expanding by denying new connections with new people, by remaining um, 
you know, small and kind of keeping to myself. So I, it, like I said, I was kind of aware something was wrong, but I kind of was like, well, what's going on? And I was like, ah, it's trust. It's my trust issues with people. It's my trust issues with creating new connections with people that I don't know. Uh, because as a light worker, and you probably resonate with this, I've been taken advantage of a lot. Um, you know, I've been betrayed and hurt and, you know, stolen from and cheated on and all these things, right? And real and like, you know, bullied and all these things, you probably resonate with that. That's why you're watching this video. So here are my old trust and abandonment issues. Basically, my ego self-sabotaging me from opening up and making new connections and expanding and creating this life of abundance and love and connection and community. So I've been feeling off because this is coming up for me to address. So I've laid some time out next week. I'm gonna go up in the mountains about an hour away with my dog, spend the, probably the first half of the day out there uh, journaling, writing, doing some hiking, just being out in nature. It's gonna be a lot cooler up, it'll be nicer. I might even uh, microdose a little bit um, just to open my perspective up a little bit and really get in touch with myself and say, what is it I need to heal? What's going on? Like, what do I need to overcome? And this is how we do this. So if you've been feeling off, Man, this is the process of healing. This is the process of transformation and growth. It's addressing your triggers and your issues and you'll know because you'll have this inner uh, discord, this disconnect uh, with yourself going on and it'll manifest itself in different ways for different people. I'm just sharing my own personal example, right? Um, but we need to address these issues. So the next level of your life relies on your willingness to be brutally honest with yourself about what you're avoiding and to jump into it and address it head on and heal it, right? So let's use another example. Maybe you're about to get a raise or you're getting a new job or a promotion and you feel guilty. So these great things are happening in your life but you feel guilty and you feel like, oh, I don't feel like I deserve this. I don't feel like I'm good enough. I don't feel like I'm capable. I'm like, whoa, what is this coming up? So that is your, and, and you're like, what is going on with me? I just got this great raise or promotion or job, whatever, and I can't be happy for myself. That's because you probably have some unhealed self-worth issues about what you deserve because your parents or whoever told you you weren't good enough or you never got what you wanted or you, you never get what you deserved or truly desired and your needs weren't met and all these things from your childhood, your event, those are your issues, your self-worth issues coming up. You're being blessed by the universe from all this abundance, which is what you asked for, but the healing still needs to take place because that deep childhood wound of, I wasn't taken care of, I wasn't seen, heard, and loved, my needs were not met, so therefore I made the story up when I was young that I'm unworthy, is now presenting itself in this weird guilt I have about getting a raise. And that's how things manifest itself. So again, you're feeling off or this weird, like you're shifting. You're shifting in a big way. So this is the opportunity to heal, to grow, to transform and grow and expand and develop that new sense of self-worth and self-love that you deserve to have this life that you've been working hard to create. This is your opportunity. This is why it's presenting itself in the way of feeling a little sad or a little guilty or whatever the emotion or, or you know discord is with you, whatever is off. It needs to come up. So you've got to be brutally honest with yourself. What are you pretending not to know? So, you know, you've got to be honest with yourself and it really only comes through self-introspection, self-reflection, giving yourself space and time away from people, places, things, social media, no music in the background, nothing. Sitting there with yourself and being with that feeling, you'd be like, why am I so on edge and irritated by people? It's not them, dude, it's you. It's you, sis. You're the one that feels off. It's got nothing to do with you or anyone else. And I say this because last night I was at work and I was like, why do I feel shut off? Like, I feel so disconnected from everyone. I don't feel comfortable right now. I was like, I've been crushing it lately. I'm like, you know, I'm part of the team now. Like, it's all good. Everyone's getting used to me. I was like, I feel so disconnected. And like, and so I was like, damn, something's off with me. And I didn't want to connect with these people because now that I'm comfortable with my work and they're getting comfortable with me, it's like, yeah, you get to know these people, you get closer, right? And um, I'm sitting here and I'm blocking myself. So I'm like, damn, this is weird. So again, this is why I gave myself time and grace to talk about this today. So you've got to be brutally honest with yourself. Give yourself space, time, away, preferably alone, out in nature to connect with yourself and really get in touch with your deep inner thoughts, your feelings. Why are you feeling this way? Where is this coming from? What is this related to? Kind of like I shared in my example. This is about trust issues with people, especially women, because I need to heal these abandonment issues around my mom. It goes deep. 
this is what this is, but you know that this is how it works. You're a light worker, you're a healer, this is what you're here to do. You're here to raise the vibration and the consciousness of the greater collective by healing your own past traumas and your hurts so that your vibration and frequency can arise and therefore the energetic signature you're carrying around is that of a healer because you're healing yourself. So your aura is that of healing and this is why people come and talk to you randomly at the coffee shop and they tell you their whole life story for like five minutes and you were just standing there trying to figure out what you order and someone sparked a conversation and, and then opened up and told you 20 minutes about how their whole life is falling apart and all this crap and you're like, dude, you just told me your whole life story and you're sitting there listening. You're like, yeah, that probably happens to you, right? This is why people come and dump all their problems on you because you're a healer. They feel comfortable with you. They feel understood because you've done the work to look at yourself and we continue to do the work but what we're really for now and where you're at, it's our time to be selfish so that by being selfish, we better serve others because by being selfish, we create a better life for ourselves. We create happiness and fulfillment in our lives and raise our energy and vibration frequency so that everybody and everything we do is done at such a higher vibration and level that it can't help but affect other people because everything is energy. So when you focus on yourself, you heal and address these issues, you transform and raise your own vibration, and then it has a positive impact, a butterfly ripple effect that we can't even imagine. Imagine, it's greater than we could ever think. So what this discord is, is it's your inner child. This is the little you that said, man, I didn't get anything for Christmas because we were too broke. So I don't feel like I'm worth anything and I'm so sad and grieving about it. So when you get blessed by a freaking raise, that's what it is. It was like that Christmas when you were seven, you didn't get any gifts and you felt unworthy of and deserving of good things in your life. So you get blessed now and it shows up in your adult life and you're like, why do I feel guilty? What a, like, this is how it goes. So that is your, this is your inner child, your soul screaming at you saying, look at me, look at me. You have to learn to reparent yourself, your inner child, that younger version of you, i.e. the issues disturbing your inner peace and emotional well-being. That's what the inner child and the soul is saying. It's saying, look at me, address this issue. I need attention. I need attention. That's you asking for attention and love from you. And you've got to learn to give that to yourself, right? We only heal and overcome by being brutally honest and, and addressing it. By acknowledging the issue, we're honoring our inner child. We're creating a safe space to heal and move forward. And I shared already my story. Like I said, this is a goes deep for me about my childhood abandonment issues and trauma with my mom dying. And that's how it's relating and showing up uh, by me blocking connections now in a new environment and an opportunity because my trust issues of abandonment and losing someone is like, I'm like preventing and blocking getting close to people before so they can't leave me you know, uh, like I was abandoned when I was a kid. It goes deep like that. So you will begin to gain insights into these own things. But the thing is, when you do this, it is so empowering because to know thyself, right? To become aware of yourself, of all your flaws, when you can get real with these deep issues and traumas in yourself, you become an entirely different person because what are the opinions of other people? They have no idea how deep you've gone into your own inner psyche, your own deep soul and heart and the issues that you've had and faced throughout your life. So then therefore, who cares about what other people think? They don't know you at all. You develop a whole new confident sense of sovereignty and self. And this is you growing and expanding and becoming that man, that woman that is living the life of your dreams. But you've got to address these deep issues. You want or you won't come out the same person because you're coming out a wiser fuller, more healed individual. And this is the process of transformation and healing again. After you address these issues, after you heal them, you really embody them, you become responsible for it, you give that attention to yourself, you're going to come out another person. You're never gonna feel the same as you did a week ago or a month ago because you're growing and you're expanding, you're becoming a better version of yourself. So things will never be the same now. And you may say, oh man, that's not, you know, I like my comfortable life. And it's like you do, but at the same time, you want so much more. So you have to go through this process of addressing and healing in order to grow and transform. Because the same you that that is living this life now cannot be the same you that's living that life of a multi-million dollar successful, impactful business owner with a beautiful community and, and spouse and, and family or whatever it is you want. There are different versions of you. This is the process of healing and growing. This is the process of transformation and becoming that person, addressing our past to become healed and more whole. 
that is us transforming and leveling up into a higher vibration and frequency and being that man and woman, man or woman that is creating that life that's what this is so you'll never be the same you're becoming you're coming out a wiser fuller healed individual you're changing at your core this is personal transformation and breakthrough this is you manifesting the new life you desire one important note is this process of healing and you already know this because you've already been through so much and have addressed a lot already this process never ends it is an infinitely layered onion and you peel one layer off and you go deeper and the next layer come off so knowing that it's an endless process and it never gets done you've got to be patient with yourself it's often an uncomfortable and painful process not to relive but even to address what that inner pain is that wasn't addressed when you were a kid, your needs were not met. This is a painful and uncomfortable process for most people. And that requires time. It requires self-compassion and deep introspection. So you've gotta be patient with yourself. You may be exhausted right now, right? Again, because you're having this internal battle right now. You're not sleeping well right now. Whatever it is, you're not eating right. Your diet might be all messed up or weird. That's because you're in this internal struggle and your inner child is calling, your soul is calling, screaming at you to address this, to heal, to become whole. And you'll come out the other side a better person, a wealthier person, a healthier, happier person, a more successful person, a more loving and vulnerable, connected person with the relationships you want. This is transformation. This is what you're doing. It's what you're here to do. This is what you're here to do, especially as a light worker, because we lead by example. We're holding the torch. We're the torch bearers. We're going forward, leading by example. So you can only do that if you have done the work yourself. And this is what the work is. It's not easy. It's painful. It's uncomfortable. It's time consuming. It's exhausting. You may be starting this process and doing it and you feel like you're all good. And then all of a sudden you're like at the drive through in Starbucks and you start bursting out in tears and you're like, what is going on? Dude, that's good. Sis, that's good. That's stuff coming to the surface that needs to be addressed. This is a painful and uncomfortable process, but like all things, lifting weights, getting stronger, it's painful it's uncomfortable at time it's freaking you're sore you're walking around like oh my god my friggin legs like oh I, they're so sore like hurts to bend over because you're uncomfortable you're growing growing pains that's where that comes from this is growing pains for you you're growing you're ascending you become a greater version and this is the hardest work for me emotional healing traumas all these things is the most exhausting work ever so again that's why you've got to be patient with yourself be loving yourself compassion like, you know, give yourself grace and space to express whatever you need to express because, man, this is not for the lighthearted, but you already know that. You've already been through so much. Uh, but this is the awakening. This is healing. So the quote I'll leave with you today is, being honest means being forthright about information, no matter how painful disclosing that information might be. It's by someone named Kerry Kennedy. But uh, that quote says it all right there. This is honesty. This is honesty. Like the last thing I'll say about being honest, right? Like what is your level of integrity, right? So say you made like a little mistake at work and someone asks you, you know, like, um, you know, oh, uh, your boss asks you like, oh, did you clean that up? And then they'll never find out or no, nobody will. And like you, you go, oh yeah, I cleaned that up or, oh yeah, I did that. And no one will ever know, but you know, you didn't do it. So like little things like that you'll make these like little white lies that you think are insignificant, but it's, it's again, if you want to be brutally honest with yourself and authentic with who you truly are, little things like that, what is that integrity? Is that how you are with yourself? You've got to be brutally honest with yourself. This process is difficult. It does become, uh, I would say easier, but only in the sense that you become used to the process. It's still uncomfortable. It's still painful. It's still exhausting. But after you've gone through this a couple of times, you've healed some big things in your life, you come out of the other side, one, another, an amazingly different person, and you get a lot of confirmation also, once you go through the cycle again, you go, I know this sucks, but I know it's also worth it, so I'm willing to do this. So, that's what, it, oh, this lady's car alarm's going off, it's like, what's going on? But that's what I got for you today, I hope that helps if you're feeling off lately your inner child your soul is asking for attention for you to address some deeper issues and until you address and deepen uh you know do those deeper issues and you heal them and give your your soul your heart your inner child what it needs 
and you know really the time the grace the space to heal some of these things it will continue to create this feeling of discord within yourself to the point where you'll either disconnect from yourself you'll feel like you'll never feel like you because you're out of your body because you're avoiding so much as a lot of people do and the way this manifests and this is also like source of addiction for a lot of people right they are they refuse to address the painful things that continue to show up in their heart and their soul and their life so they numb it from sex and drugs and alcohol or gambling or workaholism or social media or whatever, right? Or video games, you just do, like, there's nothing wrong with those things, right? Everything in moderation, but a lot, most people numb the pain that comes up rather than address it. That's not you. And that's why this, I'm making this video is to give you insight as to what is going on and how to move through it. So let me know in the comments what you're going through, if this resonates with you. And, you know, if you feel that, you know, you, um, are on this path of healing like let me know what's going on because part of me doing this too and I, what I intend to do it's gonna be real cool over this next year especially to get my space is like really build a community for us as light workers as or just even individuals who just want to better their lives who make major transformational shifts in their life so that we can support one another and network and connect with like-minded people that's what we will be doing together so let me know you know let me know what's going on um, you know, if you have any questions about anything, I'm happy to answer them too, to the best of my ability. Um, but remember, I'm not here to give advice. A lot of people say, oh, great advice and stuff. I never give advice because giving advice would say, I know what's best for you. What I do for myself and for others as a coach is I'm here to be a mirror. I'm here to ask you questions to reflect and open up and give you a perspective on it that may or may not be true for you. And I say that because you've got to trust your own inner wisdom because your journey is your own unique journey. So therefore your answers, the way you receive things and give things and the way things happen will be unique to you, obviously, right? So um, hopefully this helps. Love you guys so much. Uh, like the video if you liked it. If you resonated with it, please leave me comments. Let me know what's going on. Um, if you're new to the channel, thanks so much for watching and uh, would love it if you subscribed, if you're digging the content. And then um, if you thought about somebody during this video that you think could really benefit, um, you know, don't hesitate to share it with them. So love you guys so much. I will see you in the next video very soon. Peace.